Okay, I have Orphonic Leveler. It's a program which is also available web-based for a subscription fee. This is the desktop version. It's available for Windows or Mac. Let's take a look at some of the features. You can open your audio file. Then you select the target loudness for leveling. If it's a podcast, you would select this one. Or select whatever one suits the usage your usage. In this case, let's presume we're making a podcast. We've just made a podcast. We can now apply adaptive leveler, a high pass filter, and noise and hum reduction. Let's open a file. Okay, I've opened a .m4a file. Now let's have a look at preferences. For noise reduction amount, you can select an amount here, such as 6 decibels, low, medium, high, complete, which is 100 decibels. Let's leave it on auto, and that's probably best to set in to have it on really anyway, unless you really know what you're doing. Maximum peak level, I also leave it on auto, but you have other settings here as well. Peak measurement algorithm. It seems to be on by default here. True peak standard, four times over sampling. You can also select simple peak level. The LUFS gate is selected. You can select minus 10 LU gate, no gate, or auto. Let's just have a see what it says actually in a minute. Disable loudness measurement gate as defined in that standard, or you can use auto to disable the gate only. Uh, only if that is selected as loudness target. I think we'll have it on this. Output format. So you can import various formats such as WAVE, MP3, AIFF, FLAC, OG, Vorbis, or M4A files. And you can select to output the file. It's the same sort of thing. So if it's a WAVE, you could always output it as a WAVE as well. Or if you import a WAVE, you might want your final file for uploading to be an MP3. So you can do that. You can also change your sampling right here. So you can either use your, whatever the original file was or select one here. You then have bit depth, which isn't changeable, but I think that depends upon the format. Bit rate for lossy compression. You can select it there. And the fade out and fade in time. By default, it's 100 milliseconds. You can even select no fades. Output files. So you can append a suffix to the file name. You can select an output folder there. If a file already exists, you can either create a unique name, do not export the file at all if it already exists, or overwrite the original file. Export processing statistics file. Do you want to export a file with all the statistics showing what changes it was made to the file or not? I just tend to leave that off. Now, this is quite handy here, intro, outro. So if you have a say a podcast and you have a file with the intro that you always use in it and an outro that you always use you can append your intro and outro to the file so you don't have to manually add it each time there's some warning parameters you can set and hardware such as number of threads of the CPU max number of threads pro processed in parallel in our task queue should be equal to or less than the number of your CPU. So in this case, I've got four threads, so I've just selected it as one less and had three. So it should process three files at once if you've got that many in the queue. Audio processing block size for the RAM usage, five minutes here, and I'm just going to leave it like that. As you can see, I'm using the latest version at the time of making this video, which is version 1.3. file you can just open files or a folder of audio nothing much under here apart from remove any in the list and here you can export the statistics or just start and here you can get to your about box again their facebook and twitter and the documentation and check for the latest version so let's just hit process start and see what happens it's now got a progress bar to the top right with a stop button if you want to stop it
Okay, we're actually done now. It took a little longer than I expected because when I've used it before, it was very quick. However, it will, of course, depend upon the file size and maybe the format. Before, I think I processed a WAV file that was about 12 minutes. This file I just processed were, is a M4A file, which was about 23 minutes long. Not how long it took to process, but how long the actual audio was. Now over here we can see some audio statistics. This says what the input was before it was processed and what the output will be. Before the loudness was minus 33.6. It's now made it minus 16 as we told it to down here. Before the LRA was 5. Now it's 2.95. The maximum of these has changed a little bit as well. It's also made the file size slightly smaller as well. We can also go to export statistics, which brings up a save to save it as a plain text file, a, dot, a uh, JSON file or a YAML file. But you probably just want simple text. Let's cancel that. So what it does, it does very well. It is a good leveler, which allows you to set a sort of a stand industry standard such, such as for podcasts you perhaps want it to be minus 16 LUFS you select that preset and uh, select that preset and it does it I would however like to see a low pass filter as well it has a high pass filter you can take I would like a low pass as well so I recommend you download the trial there is a one day trial available for free from their website I'll put a link in the description what it does, like I say, what it does, it does very well. The only criticism I have is the price. It's $90. I feel that's a little steep for what it is. However, it is a batch audio converter, basically, as well as a tool to enhance your final, say, podcast and make sure you, you've got it all normalized, leveled, high-pass filter, and any additional hum, noise and hum reduction done as well. So I do recommend you check out a trial and just try it out for yourself. But those are the only suggestions I have. A low pass filter would be nice addition and I feel it could be a little cheaper. So thanks for watching. If you could like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe as it will help only take a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.